हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स ये वन स्टॉप फॉर लर्निंग ऑल द मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्ट ट्रिक्स व्हिच आर रिक्वायर्ड टू क्रैक द मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चंस व्हिच आर फ्रीक्वेंटली आस्क्ड इन ऑल द क्वांटिटेटिव एप्टीट्यूड एग्जाम्स एंड फॉर स्कूल स्टूडेंट्स द चैनल इज प्रूविंग टू बी अ बून बिकॉज़ इट इज प्रोवाइडिंग यू दैट कंटेंट व्हिच इज रिक्वायर्ड टू अपस्किल योरसेल्फ एंड कैलकुलेट 10 टाइम्स फास्टर right from the school level so that when you appear in competitive uh, exams you know you are well equipped with all these short tricks so what do we have in this video so in this video i'll be taking up the 6 by 6 magic square now it's an amazing concept and you all need to watch the video till the end to learn something special today and you will be drawing it yourself and surprising your friends by your skills of these basic mathematics puzzles there's a very very good announcement the channel is going to come up with uh, its own app and for that purpose you all being a family of this channel we want all of you to suggest uh, an attractive name for the upcoming app of the channel so your help will be greatly appreciated and you all need to post your comments in the comment box below so that we can select one of them and yes if we select your name the suggested name you will win yourself this short tricks for quantitative aptitude ebook and this is an exclusive collection of over 350 short tricks neatly typed in 333 pages and it is already creating a wave in the market let me tell you and it's going to be the best seller over the years now with regard to the quantitative aptitude short tricks you know you won't find such an exclusive collection on the internet or in the printed form anywhere so before this book uh is becoming you know slowly it becoming it's becoming unavailable and uh, you can suggest a very good name for the app and uh, give yourself a chance for uh, of winning this particular ebook if you want to procure a copy of this ebook otherwise also you can send me a message on whatsapp 9896369963 is the number you can use for uh, students who are residing outside india Plus nine one is the country code and the WhatsApp number nine eight nine six three six double nine six three. I'll wait for your suggestions on the name of the app. Let's see the topic in hand now. So we are about to learn how to draw a six by six magic square. There are some basics which need to be uh, you know understood and mastered before we can get on with this concept of six by six magic square. The first thing is. how to draw a 3 by 3 magic square so you all know a 3 by 3 magic square right numbers from 1 to 9 arranged in uh, uh, three rows and three columns and that gives you a sum now what is that particular sum that is the second concept we you uh, which you must know so what will be the sum of the numbers of a particular row of the numbers of a particular column or that of the diagonal that is the amazing formula the sum will always be equal to k times k square plus 1 upon 2 so if you are talking of uh, uh, talking about a 3 by 3 magic square so k equal to 3 so what will be the sum sum will be 3 times 3 square is 9 9 plus 1 10 upon 2 so the sum of the numbers along a row will be 15 and similarly the sum of the numbers along the column or along the diagonal it will be 15 for a 3 by 3 magic square likewise for a 4 by 4 magic square you can calculate it now k will be 4 so the sum will be 4 times 4 square is 16 plus 1 17 upon 2 that gives you 34 as the sum of the numbers so this is the concept which you should know before proceeding to a 6 by 6 magic square how to draw a 3 by 3 magic square i think i need to explain it to you all over again so that you don't feel any problem in making the 6 by 6 magic square so let's see how to make this a 3 by 3 magic square first and then we will apply it to uh, make that 6 uh, by 6 magic square so uh, i'll write one that is the starting number in the middle of the first row 
then I'll mark the right hand top corner of this cell in which I am writing the number. This is the cell in which I have written the number and I'll mark the right hand top corner and draw a 45 degree line towards the northeast. Fine. That takes me above the column, above this column. At the end of that column, I'll be writing the next number. Again, mark the right hand top corner of uh, the column in which I have written 2. Draw a line towards northeast. That takes me in this row. And at the end of the row, I will write the next number. Now, this step is crucial. Mark the right hand top corner. And if I draw a line now, it gets me in a block in which already there is a number written. So, if it would have been an empty block, I would have written the next number in that block. But I am trapped now. So, whenever I, have, I get trapped, I write the next number below the previous one. So, 3 is written here and I will write 4 below that 3. Again, mark the right hand top corner, draw a line. It takes me in an empty block. So, I will write the next number in the empty block. Right hand top corner, line, empty block, next number. Right hand top corner, line. Now, it takes me outside the matrix in which I don't have a row or a column. Right? So, I got trapped again. So, when I get trapped, I write the number below the previous one, 7. And now, right hand top corner, line. It takes me in the row. At the end of the row, I will write the next number. And right hand top corner, line. It takes me in the column. So, at the end of the column, I will write the next number. Now, as suggested by the formula k times uh, k square plus 1 by 2, the sum of all these numbers along the rows, 8 plus 1 plus 6, then 3 plus 5 plus 7, 4 plus 9 plus 2, 4 plus 3 plus 8 in the column, 9 plus 5 plus 1, 2 plus 7 plus 6, and then the diagonals, 2 plus 5 plus 8 and 4 plus 5 plus 6, all of them are going to give you the same sum and that sum will be 15 in this case, the 3 by 3 matrix. Now, this is the way you make a 3 by 3 matrix. Now, let's apply it to a 6 by 6 matrix now. So, I'll have to write numbers from 1 to 36 in this. Actually, this 6 by 6 matrix is a combination of 4 3 by 3 matrices. So, you can see the points which I am marking. If you consider these as the midpoints of the 6 by 6 matrix, then on the left hand top corner, we have a 3 by 3 matrix like this. See, I am darkening the boundaries. Okay. And on the right side of that, we have another 3 by 3 matrix. Uh, and below those two, we have two more 3 by 3 matrices. So, I'll be writing. I'll be using the numbers from 1 to 9 in this one. Now, this is fixed, you know. You need to be sure that you remember where to write the numbers 1 to 9, where to write the next 9 numbers that is 10 to 18. 10 to 18 will be written here, bottom right. And then top right. This is numbers 11, uh, 19, sorry, 19 to 27. And finally, the left bottom side this is 28 to 36. Now, these are the numbers which will be written in the four 3 by 3 matrices. So, I will follow the same method and I will fill the number, start filling the numbers now. 1 to 9. Okay, 1, 2, 3. So, I already told you how to write those 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. And likewise, following the same method, I will start with 10 here and then 11, 12. You have to follow the same method. 12, 13, 14, 15 and then 16, 17 and 18. So, this is also done. Now, from 19 to 27, 19 comes here and then 20, 21, 22, 23. 24, 25, 26 and 27. This is the way you fill all the numbers there. Right? Then starting from 28 here, 29 comes here, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 
and 36. So I have used the same method to fill all the four 3 by 3 magic squares. Now you must be thinking that we have got a 6 by 6 ma magic square. But no, there is one more step which is left. So what have we obtained now? See here on the right side, this is the matrix which we have obtained right now by filling all those 3 by 3 matrices. But what is the change which is required to be done to get the final 6 by 6 magic square? You can see on the right side, I have left some blanks and the blanks are the numbers 8, 5, 4, 35, 32 and 31. These are the numbers which are left blank on the left side. So what I do now is in place of these three numbers 8, 5 and 4, I will be replacing 35, 32 and 31 these three numbers. So I have to interchange these three numbers on the top 8, 5 and 4 with 35, 32 and 31 at the bottom. So I'll interchange them swap. Okay. So if I do that swapping 35 comes here, 32 comes here and 31 comes here. And likewise 8 moves down here, 5 comes here and 4 comes here. Here we go friends, the 6 by 6 magic square is obtained. What will be the sum of all the numbers? You know the formula k times k square plus 1 by 2. k is 6 in this case because it's a 6 by 6 magic square. So 6 times 6 square 36 plus 1 37 by 2. So 2 cancel 6 3 times thereby giving you the sum of the numbers as 37 times 3 which is triple 1. Now you can check all the row totals, all the column totals, all the diagonal totals, they will be triple one. Friends, an amazing concept in mathematics which very, very few students know. And you can learn this from this video and surprise your friends by this magic square. Friends, I hope you will be submitting your comments as to what should be the name of the app which the channel proposes to bring in very very quickly and i hope you will share this video with all your friends who love all these mathematics uh, puzzles and uh, you know recreational things in mathematics you must have subscribed the channel by now and hopefully you are you have clicked the bell shaped icon and click all notifications on that so that you get every time you know i come live or uh, upload a video you get the notification of that particular video thanks for watching this and i'll wait for your comments in the comment section below regarding the name of the app